always put on a dress, so y'all are welcome, okay? Damn. Is you know what I'm saying? Fucking welcome. All right, so I have this test where you can see how well you're doing in life, okay? I call it the toilet test. It goes something like this. You can relatively figure out how well you're doing based off of how many asses share your toilet. For example, my brother-in-law, my sister, their two children, the caretakers that would come over and myself shared one toilet. We could have been doing better. A lot better. Um, it was okay until the pandemic hit. And once that hit, I realized, I, I need to fix this immediately. So like any woman who is resourceful, I went to Tinder. And I met a man. He made a fantastic steak, so I moved in. <laughs> After 24 hours. Thank you. I don't make wise choices, I just make choices. <laughs> right? Um, that didn't work out too well. It, fun fact, um, relationships should not be based off of how well someone makes a steak and if they can shit when they want. You need higher standards in love is what I'm saying. So I decided to shoot a little bit higher. Uh, so I left and I got my shit together. I went in therapy. My roommates are like cheering me on and it's four people, 45 minutes of AC a day in the height of the pandemic. We were poor. So I was like, I can solve this. I did this before. So I went on Tinder. And, and much like before, uh, it didn't end well, but I was doing fantastic because there were two asses, three toilets. I had my pick. It was amazing. It was the most toxic ass relationship I've ever been in. But my God, I could pee whenever I wanted to. I had my own shower. It was great. It was like, you just kind of had to push through like the really bad parts. Like, was he emotionally abusive? Yeah. But did I have a beautiful porch and ducks? I'm just saying, you know, sacrifices had to be made. Um, so then finally I was like, okay, maybe I should try that whole self-worth thing my friends are saying. Yeah, I guess this guy's dangerous. So I moved out. Um, I'm currently not dating. And here's the thing, I realized uh, I'm gay, actually. Thank you, it's pride, cheers. Right? Thank you. And in realizing that, I had to go back and realize how much I don't like dick. Right, like, ladies, Am I the only one who's ever been like, well, I don't hate it. I guess I can eat this. <laughs> right? Like, we grew up with mom being like, hey, listen, clean your plate. Eat your peas. So, like, I ate my peas. Uh, right? <laughs> she gets it. <laughs> and I never bothered to question, do I want to eat my peas? See, childhood me had it figured out. I would take those damn peas on mom's second, third, fourth, and fifth smoke breaks outside, and I would mash them into the underside of the buttonholes on the cover seat. And really, that's what we should be doing with the men. <laughs> Just like, you know, push them to the side. <laughs> He's like, okay. Mashed peas. <laughs> so recently, I took up cat sitting. That's been interesting. Thank you. And uh, I'll just leave you with this. Uh, I kind of sort of left my dildo at, at a stranger's at house that I was cat sitting for. Anyways, I'm JD. Give it up for your host. Thank you.